a poem for you. It's called Patriarchidum by Millicent Cummings, 11-16-2023. Old patriarchy cares for neither seven nor even one. Generation as he sees himself his own and favoured son and uses a righteous piety to shame and blame the rest, as true sustainability he secretly detests, and plays with lives like children might so play with little dolls, mere passing games for him as entertainment ever calls, the shots in crooked dealings as he steals the cream on top, and laughs at those he swindled, faulting them for their poor lot. Ah, what is patriarchy but the ignorance of that which birthed the world and at whose feet he should be humbly sat? Ignoring e'er so willfully who did create the whole, the mother of eternity and every know-it-all. I've witnessed this demonic force that courses through the veins of several thousand years now of suffering and pain, especially for the children and the mothers and their sons. Such is the greed and arrogance of patriarchy done. Dominion over this and every world is his vain boast, yet none did make him both the owner and the host, and mother, father, God ne'er made him king, tycoon, or czar. His parents did not cause the son to make these endless wars. They did but co-create this life, the life that he so claims to do with as he pleases, jerking off with each war game. But karma is the law that mother nature did so make. To spank such deviant childish men, their profiteering wink. And now is the time when all the boys who play such ghastly games, and all their politicians and the pimps and whores therein, do grow up in the light of truth to see he has no clothes. This emperor that's just a boy, a boy that's now too old to change the course of our story as it now turns the page to finally win the spiritual war and claim our golden age where both the male and female parts in each are thus aligned and honoured as both God and God as equally divine. The time is now as was before, before it is too late to end these bloody chaptered wars. They needn't be our fate. All it takes is all of us to simply say, no more. We are the ones get off your arse, who we've been waiting for. Well.